like you were saying, is maybe you got to fill in those little holes in between. You still got to do that when you're doing a beard, too. That's why I layer it. I put in the first, first long layers of, of whiskers, and then I'll link it back, and then I'll go it back and put some more in. Here is, it's fairly well shadowed behind his ear, although I haven't been really paying attention to that, but I will. Just for here and then just do back some of his hair back here. He looks more handsome than yours. <laughs> process. It doesn't matter so much the subject matter. I just really like doing it. When I get in the zone, I just love it. I just do it. I just go along, have my TV on usually, so there's talking in the background. And what size board do you prefer to work on? 8 by 10 is my favorite. Although I did enjoy doing the elephants. I don't know how many more like that I'd like to do. It was, it was literally a pain. How long did it take to do the elephants? About a month and a half, I think. And I was working on a, a big drafting table. Oh. And I found I couldn't work at it sitting down. So I had to stand up and lean over it. So I took lots of breaks. So can you demonstrate that for us right here, Laura? What? Leaning like over the table. <laughs> with my butt in the air. <laughs> no, I posted that picture is, on my canvas already. Is that what, what you didn't like about that big board was because it's hard to reach areas on it? Yeah, 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 especially in the middle for me. There was an area on the elephant that I wanted to work at working this way, but it was way up here, and I couldn't work the direction I wanted by turning the board upside down, that I found frustrating. Is, but it, I, is it uncomfortable working with it up and down? And, you know, like you see not not that. that. If, if it had the slightest angle, it was okay. But if I was right up and down, no, my arm would be asleep in no time. I don't know how anybody else does that or how other people do that. I just want to see it. <laughs> Get one of those things like that, kind of Mission Impossible. Yeah, exactly. That's not a bad idea, Terry. Can you get right on that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do that. Not for a little. I say just get yourself a massage table and you're already there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See what you do. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I probably fall asleep all the time. On the on the skin, when you make the skin, and you said you go through and you'll do like a layer of cross hatching, and then if you do another layer, do you just cross hatch it at a different angle? Or? Yep, yep, that's what I do. I keep, just keep doing it like that till I. I like my skin smooth. I don't like it to look uh, hairy, mm -hmm. you know, and and it's just the way I've been ever since I started started doing this. Before I saw anybody else's versions of it, so it's just the way I've always done it. I'm not saying anybody else's way is wrong either, because everybody's accomplishing great things on wet canvas with their skin like Patrick and his squiggly technique and, and Diana's cross-hatching in that. It's just, I just like it smooth, so that's what I aim for. Nice. Twisted up mustache. Two, two, three, four, four, and cut it in half. And 
didn't decide separately and we put it back together, if you could hide the same. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so either. You could do a diptych or triptych there. Yeah, you could, could frame it with matting down the middle or something and make it look like it went together. I've seen that done with paintings, so I just don't think I care for the look of it, personally. Yeah. And like the eyebrows, I would take that. My brush has got mangled in my kids. His lip I probably scratched about five times to get that close, close, smoother look. Not much of his lip showing. So basically that's how I do it. Any other questions? Like I'm going to fill, I'll just keep filling in the air until it looks full enough. Have you ever but, done any color, black and white, or any color on black and white? Portrait? No. No. I, why? <laughs> because I don't like it. I like them black and white, that's why I do them. <laughs> no, there's some things that I like colored, like my elephants, I really enjoy doing yeah, that color yeah. process on that, and I thought that piece needed it. And like my silver tea service. Both the one with the grapes and, and the no the grapes and the apple or the one with the strawberries. I thought those needed those pieces to be in color and just kind of set it off or something. But uh, I don't I don't really care to do a lot of color. I have done it, but I I really like the black and white so. And I really like other people's colored ones, <laughs> like yours. Uh, you do very good color. No, it isn't, actually. I just wondered if you ever tried that. My, my Hagen Zinc, I mixed this up before I came. I put 13 drops of blue in it and one drop of red. I made sure I counted so I could tell you guys. In, into a full bottle. Yeah, it was a full bottle. And I got a pretty decent black out of that. Why, why did you put the other colors in? To make it black instead of like brown. Okay. I don't know. So how many drops of each was that again? Mm -hmm. 13. 13 blue, ampersand blue. And, thir and one drop of red. Ampersand also? Yeah. And see how some black guys? And when you put it on here, even straight, it's not bad. Here, that's good. This is straight out of the bottle. Oh, wait. Maybe not. I think. 